Hi, my name is Stefan Smolovitz. I'm the leader of Eye of Newt. It's an ensemble that plays live soundtracks to film. Uh, we started off playing live soundtracks to silent films uh, at the Blinding Light. We did that every year for five years, and uh, this year we're playing at the Bush Festival. I've got a soft spot for uh, Herb Alpert's Whipped Cream album. Uh, it's a silly album with a woman that's covered in whipped cream, but I remember my parents had it and there was something just deliciously forbidden about this album cover and it's just so outlandish. This woman just covered in a pile of whipped cream. It's just, and it's such a cheesy album, but it's, there's something just delightfully um, playful about the album, about the music and about the album cover. It's such a hard thing to narrow it down to one performer, but I saw Tom Waits live and uh, at the Commodore, and that was just an incredible show. Yeah, his charisma, his skill, like all the different vocal sounds he pulls out, his songwriting, everything about him, just an amazing show, absolutely an amazing show. Gee, I mean, I'd still go with Tom Waits, I guess. Uh, I have a, just a huge fan for Tom Waits, also for, I guess for Leonard Cohen, which I saw live too. There's something about the way there's this understated use of their voice that just pulls you in. There's, a, there's enough space there to pull you in. So I think that's what I really love about their voices. Um, it doesn't blast you away, it pulls you in instead. As a live show, Probably one of the most incredible shows I saw was actually a local band called Hospital. Uh, it's a Japanese noise band and I had never experienced noise music before and I went to the show because my friends were actually playing it. I knew some of the people in the band. They'd been playing with me in some of the movies. Uh, in fact, Chris Kelly, who is performing with me in the show, was part of that show. And there was this record player spinning and Masa Anzai started lighting it on fire and there's a bass guitar he had and he was hammering nails in it and there's just like all these incredible sounds but it was all sculpted and composed and, and it just it opened my way of thinking about what you can do with sound and so that show was just it completely changed my idea of what music can be and what music is and so that was really an incredible show to see and that was at a local underground club called 1067 um, actually, it might even be called Womb Shakti at the time. It just had a different number of different names at club, and um, it was just really uh, uh, an experience that completely changed my idea of what music was. That was that was an incredible performance to see. My favorite thing, I guess, one of the things that I that I draw a lot of inspiration from is nature. Um, they're just it's something that sets me at ease. That and music, so it's hard. The two go together, um, but there's just something about watching, like looking out over this lake and seeing the reflection of the clouds and the water and the ducks swimming by. It just, it's just nature. That's what happens. So I, that's, I love nature. So please come check out my show. It's, uh, we're playing live to the Jodorowsky film, El Topo. Um, incredible film, and it's going to be at the Fox Cabaret on January 22nd, uh, 8 p.m., part of the Push Festival. And I'll also be performing on January 30th at the Push Festival with DJ Spooky. So it's an incredible festival, and I hope you come check out some of the shows.